Hello and how are you? My name is Bosindo Mubarak and I will come you to our 8th, I'm not sure, I'm not counting properly. It's either the 7th or 8th, uh, I'll find out a lecture of uh, creating a complete uh, hotel management system using uh, plain PHP and my SQL and HTML so and bootstraps yes yes so we have a lot of things to put together we are now on the eighth lecture if not the seventh and uh, we have covered a lot of things so if if this is your first video to land on i recommend you to go to our very first video and see the, the how you get started because there are some other things that i share with you uh that you can uh, begin with uh in order to be on the same pace with us so that's what i'll tell you so with that much say, let's go straight into today's business. As you know, we always do 40 minutes. So I'll go ahead and start our timer. Let me put our timer there and then I'll launch the project. So the project, I've already opened it. It is here. This is the project. Okay, Hotel Pro. And uh, if you still remember yesterday, we were able to finish the crude. Of here we could be able to edit we could be able to delete you could be able to to do anything that you want okay now uh, right now we're going to proceed from there so we're going to proceed to the rooms yes mm-hmm i'm mm -hmm. going to proceed to the rooms that's where now the whole uh business is going to be however the advantage here is we have uh, finished uh, a lot of um things we have finished a lot of things uh, from what? From uh, we've finished a lot of things from uh, creating this crude of room categories. So now creating rooms, it is going to be simpler for us because we already finished the room creation or room categories. So with that much say, let's go straight into today's business and uh, get started. Right? All right. So what we're going to begin with, we're going to create uh, first a room listing, a room listing. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to create a new thing. I'm just going to use this very one and duplicate it. Okay, when I duplicate it, I'll have now a place where I'm going to have a room list. Uh, so let's begin with the menu. We're going to put here a button for clicking uh, so you can go to the room list. So to do that, we shall go to our our admin, uh, to our header, to our header, and then wait, let's go to our header. So our header, where is our header, our header, our header? Our header it's under here admin header this one here then you're going to add there uh, the what you're going to add there uh, on the sidebar we're going to add there the room lists of oh, the rooms so I can just simply come and search for room categories it is here so I'm just going to duplicate this one so you can have the rooms okay so you can put the rooms on top uh-huh rooms let's say rooms like this i can say room lists okay let's call it room for simplicity so you shall have now the rooms now if i come and refresh here we'll see that you have the rooms maybe you can change the icon to uh so you can just simply come and search here uh tf icons on internet okay so search tf icons you'll be able to see their listings so something like that so tf icons i think they're here Just simply say TF icons, cheat, uh, cheat list. So if you want to cheat, hope there are these ones. All right, so -da 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 -da. let's try this one and see if this one works. But these are for awesome. All right, we shall find we shall find out that later. Let's focus uh, well, on the business. We shall come to those icons later when you're mastering the entire project. All right, so there you go. Uh, so you have here rooms. Uh, so I'm going to create a, a link for room room lists. So let's go ahead and duplicate this one. We're going to just duplicate this guy. Okay, this admin room category. Okay, so let's duplicate that. I'll just simply press Ctrl P and go to it. Here it is. This is the room admin room categories I'm just going to copy ctrl c and ctrl v or you can just simply click on it and then rename it 
you'll be like saving a fresh savers coming so you go to your room categories and then come to file and then say savers however and then you create a new one okay however i can just simply press ctrl shift s so those are two options so i'm going to remove this room categories and just say admin rooms okay admin rooms so that is the one for the rooms okay so after doing so so you have here the copy of this one okay so i'll just simply come now to the to the header uh, a, a dashboard header okay and then instead of having here admin room categories i'm going to change it to admin rooms like this okay so on the rooms tab so if i come and refresh and i click on the rooms tab you'll see i'm able to get this admin room categories i mean admin rooms on top here so we are now going to reuse that let's go now to admin room categories so let's go ahead and change the title call this one rooms and then you can say maybe room list or rooms list so you can just say list okay or rooms list something like that aha so if i refresh here i'll see have rooms i have room list I can click here i'm able to access categories i click here i'm able to access rooms and then room list that is so beautiful all right so after doing so after doing so now let's go ahead and proceed now to create new room instead of having here uh create new category we are going to change this button to create new room so let's go ahead and do that so create room new room create new room uh so create new room we shall just simply uh come to create new room where is it uh create new room so we shall uh, shall come here to uh category admin whatever whatever so I'm going to change this button in the admin rooms. We're going to change this button from to create new room. Where is the button itself? It is here. Create new room, not create new category. Like this. So create new room. There you go. I have create new room. So click there. Click on create new room. We have, I mean the word is now create new room. Now what you need to add now is the button for now the form of actually creating a new room. Okay. Here in the form you can see it is still linked to the what to create new categories. So let us go ahead and create the form of creating new room. So creating new room, the form is going to be like just like the create new categories, okay? Just going to be like this one. So I'm not going to create another one from scratch. We're just going to use this very one and you duplicate it and then create one for creating new room. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll press Alt and P and then go ahead and say I've been create new room. So instead of having this one here, I'm going to save it as Go to shift s and then i'm going to call this one admin room create so i'm going to change this one remember i'm in this admin create new room so press ctrl and shift and s or you can just simply come to file and say save as so press ctrl shift s and then i say admin rooms i remove this word category admin room create admin room create so i'll copy that and then press enter okay so let's go now to our admin rooms this list of admin rooms okay this list so instead of having this link here of create new room instead of having this admin category create new room i'm going to change it and put admin room create like this so admin room create like this so if i come and refresh here now if you come here to admin rooms you see now if i click here i'm able to see admin room create you see that is the link that i'm going to so I'm going to just change these titles. So to change the titles, we shall just simply come here. It's going to be a rooms and then here uh, rooms room create. So I can just call say maybe create room. So it will be our subtitle. Uh, no, 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 no. This is the room list. Let's go to now this admin room create. Admin room create. Just a duplicate of uh, of uh, admin ca admin categories create. Admin category create. This is just a duplicate of it. So I will come here and change this one. So it's going to be rooms, create room, create room instead maybe create room category, just secret room. So like that. So instead of having here admin room create, I mean admin room categories, can just say this one to admin rooms. So someone can be able to click and go back. Okay. So if I come here and refresh, see here room. So change this one to rooms. Okay rooms say so we click here 
I go back to rooms. Okay, I click here, I go to admin, room create. I mean, admin, rooms, rooms, rooms create. So, uh, so there, um, there, 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 we can also now proceed now to our form of creating a what? A new room. Okay, let's now proceed to the form of creating new room. However, uh, to create a new room, we, we need what? We need uh, to have the parameters of the room that we want to create, okay? So let's go ahead and, uh, fi and figure out the, the table of the rooms. What do you need to note about the rooms, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, I'll just simply come and create here just by fresh, uh, my fresh, uh, my fresh what? My fresh... My fresh a uh, file or oh, I can just simply come here to functions. Okay, here at functions, I just simply come here and create here uh, some some comment. I open and close it, and then I can come and say rooms. Alright, so here in rooms, I'm going to have what you're going to uh, room data or what you're going to room structure, what you're going to be recording about the room. So we shall need of course an ID. Alright, what else? We shall need the room name. Uh, what else? Let's see what category, what, 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 let's see what this guy will tell us. We shall need the room template. Uh, yes, the room template. Uh -huh. We shall need the, um, the photo to use, uh, the main photo. Then we shall need the details. Uh, we shall need uh, room main photo. This will be main photo. And then room what? room gallery okay gallery photos so you can you shall need like multiple photos of the room okay what else shall we need you shall need the date when it has created that is option and when it has updated uh the option things all right let's just proceed to main <laughs> main important things okay all right so uh let's go ahead and look at our template so remember this template i'm sharing it with you in the in the in the in the github repository that i shared with you i share with you the template of course i share with you the template that you have to start with so it is here hotel template this one has almost everything that you need to get started with so let's go let's visit it let's visit it and get inspirations of what we might need to record about the room so there we go i uh, will come here to the te to our template there, there is a template and uh, now after reaching on the template, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and do what and look at the, de uh, the, uh, the room designs. For example, we have the photo, it's already there. Uh, so the price, we have not put the price, so have to put also the price. Uh, have to put the price of the room. All right, we have to put the status of the room, whether it is booked, whether it is uh, it is it is occupied, whether it is whether it is free. Aha. Uh -huh. Let us go ahead uh, we, and collect more information that you might need to record about the room. Uh -huh. So here we have the picture, we have the booking, we have the... So let me click on the room details or can just simply come here to, to single room detail so you can get the what? The inspiration, okay? Inspiration of how a room should look like. Let's go ahead and click here on the room. I think this is room one. Okay, yeah. These rooms are suits. For example, this is the first room. Uh, yep, so this is the room listing. This is the room listing. Let's go ahead and say details so you can look at what is being detailed about the room. So you have there a gallery of a room that's already taken over. I mean, that's already taken care of it. Uh, so you can need maybe uh, the total rating, okay? A rating. So you can need the rating. So we need the rating. The total rating, like how much? I mean, how does this room rate? Uh, reviews, it is. It will be optional. It will be. We shall not record it on the room table. Uh -huh, so we need. We need the rating. Uh -huh, so we need the category. The room category. Okay. We need room category. Room. Uh, category ID because this room must depend on the category. Uh -huh, so that will be the category here. Then the room name here. Then we have here the description. Maybe we'll need the description. Okay, the room detail. This will be the room detail. And uh, after the room details, then we shall need 
the check-in the check-in text we shall need the check-in text and then the checkout text so we may need someone to record when someone is checking in and when someone is checking out so let's go ahead and put check-in 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 and then check out all right uh okay so that will be there and then we shall have special instructions okay uh special instructions special instructions okay all right so what else shall we need uh we shall need a uh, whether you should have uh the pets whether we allow pets in this room in this room or not Pets allowed it to be yes or no. Uh, what else shall we need? Uh, children and extra notes. Children. Children. That will also be like uh, extra notes. Shall just make it text box where someone to where will someone be able to add text about the children. Then we shall come to amenities. Amenities. So we shall come to amenities so amenities so you shall put here amenities uh, for example begin with um, uh, whether it is uh, one to two person or one person okay whether we allow groups or not uh-huh mm-hmm that will be for the group. Then we will have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Uh-huh. We can check whether they have Wi-Fi. Whether they have uh, the size of the room. Okay, whether we allow parking. We can tell whether breakfast is there. Break. Breakfast. All right, you can go ahead and tell whether the towels are there. And lastly, whether we have swimming pool or not. And then you can say whether we have gym, AC, heating. Uh, let's see here. We can also ask ChatGPT. Uh, right. So I think other animities can come. Yeah, can come through what? Through, uh, through the description. Here in the description. Okay. The price. We've already collected it. I think that's much that we might need about the room. So we have a lot of things to put together about the room. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, now start. Uh, working on the room right what else do you think we might need to record about the room aha uh -huh, this already finished these ones uh what else what else what else what do you need to record about the room what do you need to record about the room i think that's all i think that's all let's proceed with this one these are already even many so let us proceed with these ones okay so we're going to create a table we're going to create a table that's going to allow us to enter all these fields all right, so let's go ahead and create a table that's going to have this field. Let's proceed to our local host. So just simply go to our local host and then come to our category. I mean our our hotel pro hotel pro here, and then we go ahead. We're going to go ahead and create a table of rooms. So just simply come and say. Um, so this is Hotel Pro. Click on uh, New here, and then we're going to call to create a, a table that we're going to call Rooms. All right there, we, there we go. Uh, so we're going to have here an ID. So we can just simply first add more columns. All right. So the room name is going, going to be called. I mean the, the category in the table name is going to call to be called Rooms. Uh -huh, maybe we need also maybe to put uh, created by. Someone who created it. However, you can leave that one. 
all right so there we go there we go there we go let's proceed so you have here the rooms and then you have the um, um the number of columns that you want to add let me add like more columns okay so we can proceed together all right let's go ahead and create this one so we begin with the id so i'll be cutting them as we add them the other side so we shall begin with the id so we shall put here an id and then maybe we can also need to put maybe the room number i don't know the that will be necessary i think the room name will be enough all right so put the an id and then go ahead and uh, make it an integer and go ahead and make it uh auto increment so come this side and put ai auto increment and it will be a primary key all right we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed all right so proceed to the room name so the room name is going to be a, a text it's going to be text and by default it's going to be now okay so it's going to be now level all right and how we proceed the room template it's going to be um it's going to be text i mean it's a, a variable character of maybe um, 25 characters and can be null as well so make it nullable uh, how we proceed to the main photo the main photo is going to be main photo is going to be text and we can also make it what nullable all right we proceed to room photos gallery photos put it here it's going to be what's going to be text text and it's going to be also nullable all right we proceed to room details room details room details it's going to be text yeah room details it's going to be text it's going to be nullable we proceed to price so price is going to be um you can make it integer might not make it double just make it integer make it nullable by default come to status status is going to be a variable character and maybe uh maybe 25 something like that and you can also make it nullable all right so we come to create that create that we're going to make it uh a what a a created that is going to be a what is going to be uh can make it just a variable character of maybe a hundred characters and can be nullable all right so we proceed to the room rating total rating uh we can make it a what uh a double a double and we make it nullable all right we proceed to uh to what uh to make it simple let's make our life simple let's make it uh, uh right okay let's make it double shall figure out how to handle that all right there you go so the room the the the, the columns are over we can add more columns add more columns as many as you want so you add them from here let's make Let's proceed to room category ID. It's going to be referencing a room category, so it can be an integer. Can make it also nullable because sometimes the the category might not be there. All right, let's proceed to the check-in text. So the check-in text is going to be just text. Let's make it text. Someone will be typing their notes about check-in, and then we also proceed to the checkout text. So let's make this one text, and then we make this one also text, and then make it also nullable. Uh, then we proceed to the special instructions special instructions we make it text and then also make it nullable we proceed to the children we make it also text and make it uh nullable huh children yeah someone will write children who will write some notes about them uh pets uh pets whether they're allowed or not let's make it text also someone will type okay let's make it um let's make it text someone will be typing about pets uh so we proceed to anonymities now anonymities whether they are number of people uh
so here the number of people we can make it uh, integer uh, or can make it a variable character where someone can type and make it nullable let's add more columns let's add more columns let's add more columns let's add more columns add more columns okay there we go we proceed to wi-fi whether wi-fi is there or not so we can make this one a, a variable character and make it uh, uh, nullable and then put as defined you first make it nullable and then you put as defined okay so we can put but no by default so you can put here maybe uh 15 okay so it will be a yes or no whether we have wi-fi or not all right so we come to parking does it have parking so it can be here um also the same the variable character 15 so you begin first by making it nullable and then you change it and make it as defined. So by default it will be no, it will not be having parking uh, by default. So we can change those one later. And name it is breakfast, for example. So breakfast, we make it text and make it also, also we can make it also variable character by 15 by default, null, and then we make it uh, as defined to be no. Oh, wow. how many remaining with the remaining with the uh, four put this on here variable character 15 by default you make it null and then you come and make it as defined to be no all right so making it null at first it help us to check out these boxes without us coming that side be careful not to lose this data otherwise you'll cry if you lose it so i'll come here add this uh, swimming pool by default it's going to be 15 characters uh, by default will be null and then I come and change it to be no all right swimming pool to be no aha uh -huh. then you proceed to the uh, gym then gym uh, by default is going to be variable character make it 15 characters by default to be null by default to be no uh, then proceed to air conditioner AC. Ah, yeah. Let's let, let this be the last AC. Just simply put maybe AC. Uh, by default to be variable character. By default to be uh, 15. So you can make it nullable and make it as defined to be no. All right. There we go. And then when I finish, I go ahead and submit this. So I have to be very careful not to lose this. I go ahead and click on save. So if you have some warning, you can fix it. But for me, I'm happy I've successfully submitted. And you can see my table is there, a rooms table, and it's there. Very virgin. It has no anything inside. Okay? So now, we are going to proceed now to creating a room category. I mean to create now a room mat, a room form of entering a, a room. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come here and copy these columns. I'm going to copy all of them like this. So I select all of them. So I've selected every column here. After selecting it, I'm going to copy and then come to here where there are my columns. Remember, I was deleting them. And then I paste now the actual column that I have. So I can just simply first put them here and the, in the new file and just search for this and press Alt and Enter. And then so I can have. So, okay, this is just. <laughs> I don't know if you understood what I've done. So I've just selected this space, this space between them. Okay, I press Ctrl F to search for that space. I press Alt and Enter to get the space. Okay, Alt and Enter. Okay. Ctrl F, Alt and Enter, and then press Enter. So to delete the space, and then I'll have something like this. However, it's not a very special thing. So there we go. I'll come now and put this room here. So we have structured the room. Now let's begin now designing the form for the room. So, before we start even doing, let us first arrange and see how it's going to be. So, we're going to first have uh, this idea can get rid of it. Let's first arrange so that when you go there, we know what we actually want. So, we're going to have uh, a room first, followed by the template. Mm -hmm. What else shall we need? Followed by the price. Okay, that's very important. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, this status um i don't know that should be setting it manually or shall be setting it by the room let us be setting it by the room status however by default we can be hiding it we can be hiding it so it will be hidden 
okay let's just i uh, shall fix it we shall be hiding it when we are submitting so when the room is occupied then the status will come and change automatically okay we can just put it there let's put it there let's put there the status the room status so this can be in the first on the first three columns uh-huh then we can have the room photo and then the room gallery this will be like uh, photos for the room all right so it will be the second column now our third column will be now the room detail the room detail created art will be generated room rating it will be generated okay however mm, let's let's also give the person ability to to rate the room so this will be in one column uh this will be in another column so room category room category i think that's why we need to put this instead of room template uh so this room template we can keep it where why should i put it uh next to the rating let's put that one there okay we're first designing before we go ahead and do whatever we want uh check-in text let's need so this check-in text will be on, on on a single line uh single line it's been a single line and then everything that takes within a single line all right maybe this will be two there'll be two this room to check in and check out text there'll be two on a single line aha uh -huh. so i want one thing to put here with the ratings so they can be three uh special instruction and children they also be two on another line uh pets allowed pets allowed um let it let us put it here on the rating so they can be three aha uh -huh. so these are amenities they can be maybe four four per line yeah that's our design so you first design something like that before you even do what before you even start addressing it so once you have you the design in your brain then you can go ahead and proceed uh, and start addressing it accordingly okay so there we go there we go there we go so now let's proceed now to our form what's the time we have remaining is how many minutes eight minutes okay maybe we can do something in those eight minutes so now let us proceed to our form okay what happened to my stream again Okay, proceed sorry about that okay let's proceed now to the form we proceed to our form here's our form room create category okay okay sorry so come here to room room create there you go okay there we go all right so here you have something that collapses all right that's beautiful okay so now let's be start designing our the, the, the our room okay let's start designing our room uh so going to begin i think i can even remove all these you can remove all these we shall just be borrowing when we actually want one let's just remove all these okay let's remove all of them so you can start with a fresh thing uh so I'll come to our room create category uh so instead of having here is edit let's look for the room admin create character so instead of having here is edit we can uh we can do that we can find we can just simply put here um we can do it a little bit general so going forward you can just use the same thing so let's make this one room so room now that is being edited and then so come here and search uh we search so in rooms okay in rooms and then change this one to be room room like this okay all right so there we go so editing room not room category editing room and then put it all right so there we go uh now let's proceed to uh to to the to the form 
So the form, we are going to remove uh, most of these things. Let's remove all of them. And then we, we create a new one from scratch. So I'll delete everything here. I'll delete everything. And then you see I can create everything from scratch. Okay. Only that I'll leave here and change this one to room for edit. Okay. So there we go. Uh, there we go. There we go. So if I come and refresh, everything is okay. So as we agreed, we're going to begin by putting three columns, okay, for the room, room category, and the room, uh, room at, room, room price. Okay, so we can just, let's go ahead and do that. So we shall just simply come and say, leave and put here a class of row, and then come here and put div class call md. Uh, call MD what? Call MD. Uh, call MD. Um, four. Twelve divided by four is three. Uh, call MD four, and then can put here. MT. Uh, two. Okay. MT one. MT. MD. Two. So it can be separated from one another. Alright, so let's go ahead and borrow from room category create. Room category create. Let me look for it. Let's borrow an input there. Room room categories create. So let's go ahead and borrow something. Let's go ahead and borrow. Uh, let's go ahead and borrow uh, the name input. So I'll just simply come and copy this guy only. Copy this guy. So let me come here. Yeah, I did some MT1, MT, MD2, like that, okay? So, let's go ahead and paste there. This is just echoing the, what? The room categories. All right, so, we just go ahead and say PHP echo text input, and then you open our array, okay? So, the first thing is going to be label, which is going to be a room name, room name, room name, I have followed by the name, of the input to give the name and then the attributes going to be auto forecast and also be required and then the values going to be if it's editing we're going to check if it's editing we put edit if it is not editing we put the room value so you can see the room value is here the room value is here so i've checked this one if it's not whatever you see you can see there the logic that i've done if it's editing i search from rooms and then i initialize it there so you can see that, okay? It's not editing. I put there the room values. All right, we proceed. So if I come and refresh, you'll see that I have here my room name there. Beautiful. Okay, I cannot submit without it. All right, so we proceed. We proceed, we proceed, we proceed. So that is done. So we come and check now the second one. This is a drop down. You can come and also borrow this drop down. So let's just uh, simply duplicate this column. However, we're going to just remove these things inside. So I'm going to put there a drop down of room template. I mean of room category ID. All right, room category ID. So if you come here to our model, so this is done. I can just delete it. Then we come to the room category ID. So I'll go back and change this one to be room the name going to be room category id uh sorry the name is going to be room category id so you just change this one to room category okay all right so uh what else what else what else so that's room category id now it's required now what we're going to do right now what we're going to do right now uh so it is editing we just the value is going to be the room and then you put here uh category room category id okay if it is editing okay the value will be there now let's go ahead and now put the options so the options is going to be a list of what a list of rooms it's going to be a list of room categories okay so let's go ahead and get the options of room categories remember we don't have it so i have to search for them okay so let's go ahead and get those options so i'll come on top here i'll come on very top here uh on top here maybe here maybe after requiring the header i can get the room categories right i can get them from here here after after the header so i can borrow that uh, maybe from the room categories listing 
room categories listing we are already selecting the we're already fetching the rooms from the database so let us come here to room categories and then search for room category listing here room categories where is it Ta -da. room categories you see they are here all right they are here so i'll come back here get those room categories you can as well write it the way you want like this so let me just db select and then i just pass room categories like this okay let me put it here and i show you so this is going to be room cuts okay let me go ahead and say echo and say pre tag and then come and say printer and then come and die here and you see what we've got so if i refresh you'll see that this is what we get we are able to get all the rooms all right we are able to get all the rooms so what i'm going to do here i'm going to now put them in our optional in our optional drop down that i want that we understand so to do that i'll just simply come and say so let me let me just simply come and say uh cuts or i can say maybe room categories equals to i open a c a, an, f, an open bracket and then i come and loop through these room categories this room cuts okay i look through this room cuts and then you can see how i'm looping through them so for each room cuts i get as category so i say room categories i put the id put there and the name so i put the id here as the as the as the array index you see how i'm putting it equals to category and then the name so at the end of the day i should have something like this let me dump this one i should have something like this you see the id and the name the id and the name i hope you're getting that so there we go now i can cut this let me cut this one and i put it here maybe after the header so it should not conflict so i put there after the header so i'll come and cut it remove this one uh, to make it simple, I can even just simply cut this and put it here. It also works and put it here. But let's just keep it like that. So we're going to be using room categories because the one that is organizing the structure of our drop down will understand. So let me come and remove here these options. We'll remove these options in the room category and paste these ones here. All right? You get it. So the options are going to be that one, which the index is an id and the value is the what is the name of the category now if you come and refresh you'll see everything is beautiful we're able to get the category from there you get it put here the room name put the room category you see all right that's it for today we'll start from there in the next lecture we are going to complete our what our form and make sure that you practice make sure that you don't give up make sure that we do this up to the very last end of our target and later there's a question Duncan you there yes, sir. so how are things uh, are you following are you practicing yes. are, you, are you understanding yes are you sure yes. so on which video are you now video of the issue hey all right keep pushing keep pushing when you finish that we jump to this okay yes sir. all right keep pushing okay see you okay i'm seeing a question in the chat does nullable simply mean that the either can be yeah that's what it means that uh the value can be there or it cannot be there if you don't make it nullable then you cannot save there something without a value if you try to save something without a value the error will come yeah so that is the answer all right guys so uh, in the next uh, lecture we're going to do advanced web programming uh for only those who are at advanced level or those who are interested in advanced things see you there see you in the tomorrow's lecture goodbye